How do you like to eat dildos? Yeah, me too. What's up, you shit dicks? What's up, you wiener faces? And all my vagina lovers. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the vloggy vloggy. We kind of have a two-faced vlog today. I guess that's if you want to fucking call it two-faced. Is it two-faced, like, bad, though? So I'm going to be my normal yummy self. At the same time, I would like to share some uh, harrowing, horrible, terrible news that uh, I'm sure you guys already know, but I'm going to share it anyways because I just want to share my perspective on it, so. You're fat! That dude looked like he fought in Vietnam! Fat Modern Run Up! I've been able to get a Pew Watch Wednesday going here recently because of all the weather and stuff. It's beautiful today, but it's cold, so I haven't really been able to get out and just ride for like an hour or two because I don't feel like defrosting my nipples. Does anyone know where to pick up nipple defroster? I've been trying to search the web and stuff and I can't can't quite find where nipple defroster is. Not ball tenderizer, because my balls get frozen too, so you gotta smash them a couple times and be like, hey, what are those? Man, this guy's got a skull on his truck, just like me. He must be a badass. You know, I never understood this, but thank you. Thank you so much. I, I, you know, I really just wanted to smell the great coals of the morning. Fucking asshole. Tried to roll coal, but he couldn't roll nothing but these nuts on his fucking mouth. Oh, he's got a Harley sticker on his truck. Okay, so that's the problem. See, I knew there was something wrong with him, and he has a Harley sticker. Well, there you go. Get a real bike. I have nothing wrong with Harley riders. My dad has a Harley, and I, I love my dad's Harley, and I wave at Harley riders and everything. I have nothing wrong with them. I just have a problem with the Harley riders that think they're some fucking class A better than everyone else because they have a tiny penis. I got a Harley. I uh, get a real bike. Can't we all just get along and be great friends and just fucking ride motorcycles and whack off? One day there'll be a national circle jerk where we all get in a big circle with our motorcycles, Harley or, or whatever, and just jack each other off. It's gonna be so much fun. It's the Midas Touch. I never thought about that, the Midas Touch commercials. Like, oh, that's a nice Ram. That's nice, I like that. That's actually, uh, it's a pretty, it's a pretty truck. It's like, what if a, like, little girl's listening to that? It's the Midas Touch. Like a little like a creeper in this white van right here show up to her and be like, I got the mightiest touch, little girl. And she's like, oh, I heard that on the commercial. I was like, woohoo! Why does this guy have bagpipes on the front of his Jeep? What is that? He's got like, he's got like pipes. He's like about to play the clarinet or something on the front of his fucking Jeep. Someone help me, what are those? What are those? Now you guys can't see this because the camera is shitty and it doesn't zoom in, but you see on the bottom of this plate, it says Virginia is for lovers. I always wonder if I could like Sharpie in like an arrow right above like lovers in between four and lovers and put gay. Oh my God, just fuck me in the dick, dude. That is such a nice truck, holy crap. Oh my God, look, a running highlighter. I like your clarinet. Dude, I'm gonna try that Bojangles place, but I don't know if it's good. Like Bojangles, you know that shit reminds me of, that shit reminds me of like, like a dingleberry. Like, I don't know why, but it's like Bojangleberry. Like what? I don't wanna eat something that reminds me of that shit. Literally. <laughs> Woo! To jump into a little more serious of a topic here, guys, uh, most of you obviously know my obsession with Star Wars. If you don't know about my obsession with Star Wars, you do now. I'm absolutely obsessed with Star Wars. I love Star Wars. Star Wars is my goddamn life. Unfortunately, uh, on the 27th, guys, yesterday, uh, Carrie Fisher passed away. If you guys know who Carrie Fisher is, uh, she did play Princess Leia uh, in every single Star Wars from, from 4, 5, 6, and even seven, you know, fucking what, 40 years after the movie came out or 30 years after the movie came out. Uh, I'm not even gonna sit here and like lie to you guys, but I did I did absolutely 100% break down and cry. Like, it, it really hurt. She's uh, probably one of the most iconic female actors or actresses out there and uh, it just, it hurt, you know? It, 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 it really sucks when you look up to someone and and so much and it just everything's ripped away. Carrie Fisher was only 60 years old too. She died really young, which is another really horrible thing. And it just hit me really right in the heart. And I know it, it just, it fucking sucks. I know a lot of you guys are like, it's just another person. Just cause they're an actress doesn't mean they're special. I mean, they are special. I mean, she went through a lot. She fought uh, bipolar disorder, addiction. Uh, she went through a lot, uh, Carrie Fisher did. and. And it's just, it's crazy that she's taken away and how much she, you know, inspired a lot of people, man. It, it really, 
really, really sucks because she was such a great person on and off camera. So I know you guys say what you want and be like, Yummy, you're such a bitch for being a little bitch and being a bitch bitch. But Carrie Fisher is someone that I looked up to and, you know, I actually made a tweet. If you go to my Twitter, you'll see it. I was actually listening to one of her radio shows uh, about... I don't know, I want to say three weeks ago maybe, and she was being live interviewed on the radio about her new book, The Princess Diaries, about how she had like an affair with, with uh, fucking, 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 whatever the guy's name is. Harrison Ford, sorry. Yeah, Harrison Ford, sorry. I don't know what the, I was like a giant brain fart. It was like just kind of a, a book about her um, being, you know, on set and, and how she felt about everything going on during the set and stuff like that. It was like from diaries and stuff, you know, I know it's all girly and stuff, but I actually bought the book just because it was her last published book that I'm aware of at least. And it really sucks, uh, you know, it's a shitty situation. Uh, I literally broke down in tears. It, it hurt, it hurt my heart a lot being a big Star Wars fan and it, uh, it'll never be the same, you know? And you know, it'd be like people like Peter Mayhew and, and Mark Hamill, they're all getting older. You know, Peter Mayhew's the guy who plays Chewbacca, Mark Hamill's Luke Skywalker, and they're getting old, man. And it, it really sucks, and I hate to say this, but like if Mark Hamill died, or or Peter Mayhew died, or, or Harrison Ford died, you know, it'd be really sad. I'd be upset as well, but you know, I, I wouldn't be upset as as upset as I am about Carrie Fisher. I guess it's because she was like the main female character in the whole movies, and she was like the only female character that had such a major role in four, five, and six. So I guess that's why it, it was such a heavy heavy impact, you know, compared to Harrison Ford or Peter. Mayhew is, you know, it's just out of all of the Star Wars characters, she is absolutely, she's absolutely probably the most loved, and she is everyone's princess and and the general of them all, and it just shitty situation, guys. But I just wanted to make you guys aware if you didn't know, and a lot of you guys, I got tweets and Instagram things that were like, "Yummy, we were thinking about you" because I saw that Carrie Fisher died. I'm sure you're devastated. Well, in all honesty, I was pretty devastated. Uh, I was definitely pretty hard on. I was really hard on myself, and it. It hurt, man, and I know, like I said, call me bitch, call me whatever you want, but you know what? Put your phone down, you cunt! And I'm passionate about Star Wars, and some of this is very iconic, so, you know, say what you want, but that's me. That's who I am. I've never shied away from who I am before, so why start now? Damn, man, he's got sick blue rims on it. Nice, fast Toyota Celica. Well, I don't even know how to fucking pronounce it, bro. Look how fast it goes. Oh, man! Look at that faded paint on the back. I bet he meant to do that, bitch. I bet it brings a lot of weight reduction. Less paint, more reduction, bro. Man. Oh, my God. What a sick car, man. I wish I one day am honored to have a sick car like a Toyota Celica. And Toyota Celica, Celicas, whatever the fuck you say, can those actually be fast? Can you actually, like, make them be fast like some people can make a Civic fast? Is that is that a thing? Someone tell me in the comments. I'm kind of to give you guys a question down in the comments. What was your favorite Star Wars movie if you guys have seen it? And uh, what was your reaction to Carrie Fisher passing and kind of um, what was your favorite moment with Carrie Fisher in all of the movies? Without a doubt, I mean, I, I have to definitely say Carrie Fisher's role in uh, in uh, A New Hope, the first Star Wars, or number four technically, uh, A New Hope was my favorite. Even though Empire Strikes Back is my favorite Star Wars, uh, A New Hope, her role was my favorite. We love you, Carrie Fisher, and I hope all is well on the other side. Oh man, look at this guy in his Harley. He is super cool. Yeah, Harley. Fuck yeah. Yeah, fuck me, right? Don't wave at me. Cause you're too fucking cool. Yeah. Oh my god, he's got the racing stripe? Oh wow. That is just 10,000 horsepower. I know a lot of you guys are still on uh, Christmas. Oh my god, you scared the fuck out of me. What's up, man? What's that? Yeah. Okay, word, Yoshimura? Yoshi. Yeah, that's uh, that's Acropovic. That's Acropovic. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> it's loud, you can barely hear yourself. I said it's loud, you can barely hear yourself. <laughs> what a nice lady. <laughs> Dude was like, that shit is loud. I can't even hear anything. I love nice people like that. You know, he was riding a scooter and all, but he was nice. I think he said he had a Yoshimura exhaust on his <laughs> scooter. I, I, I couldn't tell if he said the Yoshimura exhaust was on his scooter or if he had something else and it was on there. Like, I, I couldn't quite understand what he was saying, but if that dude's got a Yoshimura on his uh, scooter, then 
Power to you, brother. Power to you. Do you actually put a Yoshimura on a fucking scooter? Is that a thing? Because if it is, I'm buying a scooter. And we're going to fucking put a Yoshimura on a scooter. I know some of you guys are still out of school. Most of you guys don't go back until, like, what? Let me guess, guys. Like, the third or the fourth. I know you usually get... You get New Year's Day off and then maybe the day after. I think that's how it was when I was in school. So, uh, I know some of you guys are still off. So, what are you guys doing during this break? Is anyone out of town? Are you, is anyone at, like, their grandparents or uh, mom or dads if you guys are a little older? Or has anyone got family in town? Uh, I really didn't do much this year. I obviously stayed home with my parents and we didn't have any grandparents come in other than my grandma that lives right around the corner. I drove out to West Virginia on the Christmas night to be with Amber and she's actually at the house right now. She's in Virginia Beach for the first time. And she'll be here for uh, she'll be here for the next week because she's off school, so she's gonna meet my family and all that other fun stuff. Is anyone at their grandparents or uncles or aunts and has really shitty internet and can barely even watch my videos? Because you know, I know that feeling when I go over to my grandmother's. She's got like the giantish dookie internet. Like I could probably get better internet with a straw and some fucking tin foil. Bitching, they are bitching, fam. I don't know if that's beaching or bitching. But she's a blonde, so she's probably bitching. My peppermint mocha latte has extra peppermint and I'm allergic to it. Why is it in there? Like, oh my god. If you are someone that has shitty Wi-Fi, I completely feel for you. I know those feelings when I was a kid. Oh man, I hated it, man. The Wi-Fi was so bad at my grandmother's. I could barely even pwn a kid with a 360 no scope on Modern Warfare 2, man. It pissed me off. Hey, the exhaust ports on this Camaro are like fucking rectangles. It looks like a block of Velveeta cheese. Look at these things. They're like a block. It's it's like square. Dual Velveetas, bro. Bro, bro she is running the full Velveeta dual exhaust system. Oh man, he just used his lights to get through that. Oh no, you didn't. You cocksucker! I got you on camera, cop. I got you on camera, bro. I seen that. I'm taking that down to my precinct. I'm gonna get your fucking cop number. That motherfucker, that cock mother. Mm. You know what? Where's that one cop motor vlogger at? God damn, what's his name? I, I watch his channel all the time and I can't, I can't think when I vlog. Like, I literally just can't think when I vlog. That illegal? I, I want him to respond. I need a video response from my boy cop whatever god damn it i can't think of his name does someone pop up the name on the screen right now whoever's editing this video i act like someone else edits my videos but it's always me Are you legally allowed to use your lights to go around traffic like that cock stick just did i want a video response i need it from you i need the video response guys we need a video response from mr his name's on the screen again because i can't remember because i'm an idiot all right you fuck faces i will see you guys later i'm gonna jump out of here uh, we're gonna we're gonna head up and uh, go hang out with Amber, edit this video, and meet the parents and all the fun stuff. But I love you. Oh wait, he's got his lights on. Okay, just kidding. But I still want the video response. Oh, he got him one. He got him. Got him these nuts. Oh man. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching the videos. I hope you guys all choke on some oil or some gasoline, whatever you choose to drink next. I love you guys and go choke on some bleach. Goodbye.